Hi, good morning. Um, thanks for attending the session. Um, I have all of 10 minutes, so um, I'm going to be very quick about it. Uh, before I delve into the actual demo itself, uh, I'll spend a couple of minutes, maybe one or two minutes, just to talk about um, what is uh, uh, Juniper's SDN solution. Basically, it's Contrail, right? Uh, so, uh, Contrail is um, open source, right? Um, we work with uh, many different uh, orchestration systems, and being OpenStack Summit, so we will work with OpenStack. And the demo we're going to show uh, is basically based uh, 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 on using OpenStack as the orchestration tool, right? That's why it's called um, Contrail and orchestration. And orchestration here is basically OpenStack, right? So, um, basically, um, just to give you an idea of where OpenStack, uh, 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 Contrail fits into OpenStack, right? I'm going to use a, a, a very high-level uh, example. Um, in OpenStack, you have many components. So I'll just use a few, right? So you have your uh, compute components to talk to the compute nodes, right? The compute APIs. You have the storage APIs to talk to um, the storage. And you have the network part, where it's connecting all the servers. It's connecting all the networking equipments like routers, uh, virtual appliances, physical appliances, right? And that's where control comes in, right? It, it's, it sits in the middle to talk to all the networking devices, right? And how the interface between OpenStack and Contrail is basically uh, Neutron, right? So what are the components that we have inside of Contrail? So if you look at it, um, uh, being SDN, you know, we split the planes. Um, we have basically two components. Uh, one sits, one of them sits inside um, the compute node, which we call the vRouter. That basically replaces your, uh, um, the Linux bridge. And the second component is basically the controller. Right, so controller takes care of um, telling the vRouter how to forward traffic. Right, um, when you create a virtual network inside uh, uh, OpenStack, uh, it needs to configure the vRouter, so it does that as well. Uh, all the VMs connect to the vRouter, all the traffic goes through vRouter, and so there's a ton of useful, valuable information that you can collect, and we, we, we collect it um, and process it with our analytics tool. Right? So that's basically um, a very brief idea of what Contrail is. Right? Uh, if you need to know more information, just go to um, C32. We are there. Okay. So uh, the lab setup, basically, we have uh, five different servers. So the first server basically holds um, the, the configuration node and uh, OpenStack. We have uh, two control nodes and uh, two compute nodes, uh, which uh, we install the vRouter. Okay? So without further ado, um, I'm going to go in right into um, the demo itself. Right. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm using um, RDP to go into my lab in, uh, in my office, so it's kind of small here. So basically, um, in, in, in op I think this um, UI is uh, very familiar to a lot of you guys. Right? So uh, what I'm going to do is basically just to uh, do something that typically what you do in a data center create virtual networks, put some VMs in a virtual network, and do some policies so that they can talk to each other, right? Uh, simple stuff. And then I'll show you some of the things that Contrail, in addition, can actually uh, help you, right? So creating virtual networks are um, pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Just um, go to the networking piece, right? And do a create, just give it some name. So, Let's give it, uh, say, OpenStack front end and uh, give it an IP address. That, that's it. So basically, what happened is that um, through OpenStack, to Neutron, uh, Contrail, controller knows that we need to create this virtual network, right? So uh, once that is done, uh, uh, you can actually uh, put some VMs uh, instances in it. Let me create one more so that I can show you. So creating, creating VMs, basically, um, um, uh, once we create a VM, we need to, it's like, you know, 
uh, in a normal way, what you do is you create a VM, you patch it to a particular VLAN, right? So um, in, in our case, basically, uh, what we need to do is to put the VMs um, into uh, what we call the proper um, virtual network, right? And so how, how we put it is basically, um, there's a bunch of um, um, interfaces that uh, you have already created. So uh, I just need the interface to the particular VM. And um, you can launch. So what that does is that you know, when the VM, when the instance came up, come up, um, it will attach itself to this particular virtual network. Right? So let's um, do one more. Give me a minute. So what I'm doing now is basically, you know, to create um, um, one instance um, in each of the in each of the virtual network, right? So by by default, you know, in in, in VLANs, you, they can't talk to each other unless you route it, right? So um, what I'm going to show you is that you no, know, uh, I'm going to go into the console of one of the VMs. You can see that I can't I can't connect to the other side, but I can just apply a policy, right? And that's it. Contrail is going to tell the forwarding devices that you no, know, these two networks can talk to each other, and then the traffic will go through, right? So 11.253. Right. Right. So we, we, we can't actually ping the other side. So Basically, um, doing policy, um, it's um, pretty straightforward, right? Now we have the network policy tab, right? And uh, basically, uh, I, I'm going to just create a policy, say. So basically, this, this will create a policy without any rule. And then uh, um, what I'll do is that basically uh, I'll go into the policy itself and say that um, any traffic that's uh, coming from the source network of this one to a destination destination network of um, this one, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to allow it pass, right? So that that policy is being created, and now what I need to do is basically to attach it to the network. So through through um, the through through OpenStack, you know, we basically tell um, the controller that you know, what we want to do is to allow these two virtual networks to talk to each other, right? And so if nothing's go wrong, you should see the ping starting to come, right? So it's it's like you know, um, there's no need for you to to go to a. a, 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 a for example, applying some ACLs on the switch, you know, and if the VMs move, you have to go and physically go and man the ACL. So policy setting is actually t very tough inside the data center, right? So one, of course, um, what Control does is that it brings not just these features, right, to the table, right? It has a lot of other features. One other thing is that, you know, for example, you have um, uh, uh, all these VMs comes up, you know, it's given some IP, right? But you don't really care about IP. What you want to do is basically to know 
um, how to access this system. And usually, you give him some meaningful name, right? And, and um, a, a virtual DNS becomes important, right? So I can try to ping the name. So I have not done anything. So what, 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 what control does is that you know, in a virtual router, whenever uh, 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 you have a VM comes up, right, that VM has an IP address, and he's going to put it into a mapping of the host name, of the name that you give to the VM, right, as well as the IP address is going to have a mapping. Right? And then when you try to do something from the VM, it will query that DNS, which is the V router, and then you get reply. Right? So it's, it's very automatic, very straightforward. Right? And we, we do have um, a, a, a Contrail UI. Right? Uh, so basically, um, the, the, the controller has a, a, a RESTful, has REST APIs that we can use. And we use that to basically create a, a different UI, right? so they can see more things. Things like uh, how many virtual routers are there, you know, how many control nodes, um, utilization of um, each particular uh, uh, vRouter, and stuff like that. You know, things. Um, so a bunch of information. So I want to see, let's say, for example, you want to do some debugging within within the system, right? You can do some, some kind of packet captures, right? So uh, uh, typically what, what you need to do is break it, uh, to, to go into the switch, you know, do some kind of, um, do some kind of um, um, port mirroring, you know, uh, and then if, if the port mirrors, Uh, need to span switches, then uh, you may have to do R span, or you do uh, you have to configure multiple switches at the same time, right? So, um, what the what this um, system right helps you to do is, I you know you can do all these things very seamlessly. Right, just saying that you know um, you you want to mirror traffic. Uh, anything that comes from, say, uh, this this particular network to a uh, different destination network, right? And and what this will do is, you know, we will actually launch what we call a service instance, right? Um, where uh, it's basically a, a wire shark that is. Uh, pre-configured inside a uh, Linux uh, uh, virtual instance, right? And controller is going to dynamically pipe the traffic from the from the uh, from one one network to the other network, right? And when when it's done, if if you go back to the open stack, yeah. okay, last one. So basically, you, you, you get your traffic. All the ICMP traffic that I'm doing the ping just now, it's all here. So it, it makes things very easy for you to do troubleshooting, for example, if you have something wrong in the network. Okay, so I've run out of time. So if you want to see more demo, we have a lot more useful features. Um, we are at C32. Visit us. Thank you. <laughs>